Ah, no. Hold your fire! You're not from Eclipse. Who the hell are you? Lieutenant Nora Harwood, Everreach Security Division. My team and I were shot down by colony defenses. One of my men crash-landed further away. The other didn't make it. Were you the ones who fired on us? <sighs> no, but I can explain who did. Welcome to Nova Outpost. I'm Lieutenant Abigail Ross, Colony Security and Logistics. Did they tell you much about this place in briefing? I read the reports. Multiple luxury settlements tailored for rich colonists on the first habitable planet we found in our galaxy. Maybe the only habitable planet besides Earth. Not like you see evidence of alien civilizations anywhere else, right? You mean those obelisks I saw on the way in? Yep, that and the ruins. They're all over the place here, but whatever built them is long gone. Hard to believe we have actual proof of alien life now. It's big news. That's why Everreach sent a bunch of archaeologists with the Advanced Colony Team. Someone's got to study what's here. Tell me more about the Advanced Team. They're not colonists? <laughs> no. None of us could afford it. We're just getting the colony set up. So construction workers, technicians, scientists, you name it. There's about 200 employees working here. So, what happened? Until two weeks ago, everything was going great. We set up a bunch of different outposts all over the planet to build the different settlements and carry out local surveying. It was all on schedule, going as planned. And then, one day, without any warning, the main outpost, Eclipse, launched a full-on attack on us. They reprogrammed their drones, jammed all local and interplanetary communications, sent in infantry, you name it. Let me guess, they're the ones who fired on us? Considering they're the ones controlling the big surface terror cannons, I'd say pretty likely. What do they want? Why are they attacking? They haven't said, but, well, Everreach has more than a few corporate rivals that would love to see this colony initiative fail. You're thinking corporate sabotage? Makes sense. Bribery, spies, it's got to be pretty organized to have a whole settlement in on it, not to mention trying to kill us. How are you guys holding up? Not great. We lost a bunch in the initial attacks. Most of us haven't had a proper sleep in days. And they attack us so regularly that we can't even take a break or arrange a counterattack. We're running out of everything. Food, fuel, medical supplies, you name it. We won't last much longer at this rate. Is there anywhere you can find more supplies? There's a construction site a little ways from here that would have some of the things we need. But it may as well be back on goddamn Mars. We can't get to it by foot, and the only vehicle we have that's still running is a single rider hover bike. I'd have to send one person out alone, into hostile territory. These people don't have the right military training for field combat. It'd be a death sentence and a waste of resources. I can't make that call. But now, you do have someone with military training. What do you need me to do? Well, I would need you to head over to the construction site and explore the area. Pick up whatever supplies you can find, then bring them back here. Will there be any field support? Well, communications will be jammed, so we can't help you directly. But there is someone who can. Go check in with our technician bot, 73Q. She'll get you set up. I have to go refortify our positions and check in with the guards. When you're done, meet me in the map room, and I'll give you the coordinates. <laughs> 